All right, we're back. It's It's been a while. It's about, I don't know, four or five weeks since I've been able to put out a video. I've been really busy guiding and tournament fishing and then took the kids to do some stuff for the end of summer deal. But we're back, we're back on a weekly schedule. Uh, lots happened since I've been gone. We went from 8,000 to 9,000 subscribers, just, you know, like that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, help the channel out, please. We're worth pushing our way to 10,000. Today, I've got a topic that there's not a whole lot of on YouTube, but it's questions that I get a lot. And that's, you know, hey, how do I get sponsored? How do this? I put together the top five things that I see both from an industry perspective and as an angler perspective. I've I've been a guy that has approved and denied applications on one side of the business, and I've been a guy that has been approved and been denied on the other side. So it's something that I'm excited to bring with you guys. I can really go down a rabbit hole in all of this and you know really get nitpicky, but these are the top five things that I find to be important to you know creating a long lasting relationship with companies and also just getting in the door with them. So, you know, th this is what we're gonna do today is it's, it's my takeaway, there could be others, but this is what, you know, I see in the industry. All right, first and probably one of the most important things out there is know the environment. And by know the environment, I mean, understand what's going on in the business right now right um let's say even if you're trying to if you're trying to get it sponsored for entry fees or fuel or travel money or something right and you want to go approach a company and maybe you have maybe you have a connection to an oil and gas company but oil and gas is being traded at 12 dollars a barrel right now understand that whenever they give you money when they give me money when they give kevin van dam money that the purpose of this is most of the time is it's a write-off right um you know Halliburton or whoever they they really couldn't care less if they're on your jersey standing on a stage they, they they might think it's cool the you know the president of the company might put that picture on the wall but at the end of the day it's a write-off that means they are making enough money that they want to be able to pay less taxes on the money they made so they slip some off to you um, if you're wanting maybe you want to talk to a boat company well right now the motors are really hard to get so you have boat builders that have more boats sold than they can get out the door. It's probably not the best time to go to a boat company and say, hey, I'd like to get a boat from you. Um, I can really help you get more out the door. They can't get any more out the door, uh, you know, versus maybe a lure company. Um, you know, I, I work with DOA. My approach to DOA was, hey, you guys are really popular in Florida and Alabama and Mississippi, and you're really popular down in South Texas. But the Middle Coast, I don't see a lot of, you know, action towards DOA. I've been using your stuff for a good while. I think that I could help you, uh, you know, expand your brand here. And so that was something that was beneficial to both DOA and myself. So that's what I say. Know your environment, put in the time, do your homework, and know whether people are able to accept you know, what it is you're trying to, to give to them. So th that's a good one. Know your environment. Know who you're talking to and why you're talking to them. Don't go in there with a blank slate and just say, hey man, uh, you know, I need some stuff. It, it, knowing the situation is gonna help you a lot. Number two, apply for things that you have used for a good while. It, that the utmost importance. Um, me, myself, Laguna, paid retail at first. Luz, paid retail. Costa, paid retail. JH Boats, paid retail. I didn't go get any of these guys right off the bat and say, hey, uh, you know, let's work a deal. These are things that I used for a good long while before I ever formed a relationship with the company. One of the reasons this is very important is in this, this industry, this industry is this big, this big. Uh, it, it, if, if somebody wants to know about you, they can pick up their phone and send one text and talk to other companies just like that. This, this industry is tiny. You don't want to be the guy that whenever, you know, company A calls company B and says, hey, what about this Joe guy? He's applying with me. And I, I see that, that, you know, he made some posts on Facebook about you. Well, you know, Joe came along and he told us we were going to do this and do that. And then, you know, a couple months he used our stuff, used a bunch of our stuff, but we really don't hear from him anymore. And now he's with uh, this company or that company. Uh, that's very bad for you, very bad. You you only get your name one time, and once you become known as a brand hopper, it is bad for you. So that's why I say use 
apply for stuff that you use, something that you know you're gonna use for a long time. Um, you know, I, I've used Costas for years and years and years and years. I've tried Smith, I've tried Maui Jim, I've had a little bit of everything, but I always came back to Costa, I always came back to Costa. And so whenever I finally had my affairs in order to where I had something to offer back to Costa, I, you know, I talked to him. This has been in the past four weeks. I, I talked to him and we were able to work something out, but it's because I knew that I wasn't gonna be wanting to use Smith or Maui Jim. I was gonna be using Costa, 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 Costa. Um, same way with DOA. I, you know, I know that this is my go-to lure and I'm going to keep using it. On the same sense, whenever you talk to a company, you know, lay it out for them. Hey, this is what you can expect from me. Um, Real Wicked makes my jerseys for me. They, my, 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 you know, my sublimated tournament jerseys, Real Wicked makes them. They make an awesome jersey and I'm very happy to have them, but they're also an apparel line. And I told them, I said, look, I work with Grundens. I have my own apparel line. I can't exclusively push your stuff, uh, your jerseys. I can tell everybody about them, but these are reasons why I can't do this, this, and this. Okay, we understand each other up front. Still works for them, works for me. We can move on. DOA Lures. Um, you know, I talked to Ed and Mark. I said, look, I throw Kelly Wigglers also. I throw Down South Lures also. There are certain scenarios and certain situations to where I like that profile or that color or this and that. And when I, and I have a YouTube channel where I'm very honest with my, with my people and I'm not gonna tell them I only throw DOA. Now, one thing that is true is DOA is my favorite. That's what I have the most of in my boat. That is my go-to lure. That is my confidence lure. I prefer them over all else, but at, at, at times I do throw other, throw other brands. And you know, we have a understanding up front. We know what we're talking about. We know how it's gonna work. It works for everybody. We move on with it. So if, if just know, know, your, know your products, know that this is something you're gonna stick with. Also, if you can walk in and, and you know, hey, hey, Ed over at DOA. Ed, I've been using your product a long time. You can look at my social media, see I've been using it. I really like the Texas Croker color for this kind of water, and I really like the key lime for this type of water, and I like this for that, and I like that for that, and I like that for that. Well, then Ed knows that you have been using his stuff. He's somebody, you're somebody that may stick around, and he's to be more willing to work with you versus somebody walking in and saying, hey, um, I'm really looking for a sponsor. I want to. I have a YouTube channel. I want to do reviews, or I'm a. I'm a guide. I, I, you know, I want to use your stuff. What do you make? What What, what do you make? It, it. You have much more leverage if you know what you're talking about, what you're needing, what you're using, and how you're using it. So rolling into this number three would be give more than you take. Okay. Whenever Whenever you approach a company, you need to be able to tell them. You need to be able to show them. You know. Often a resume is the best way to go unless you're somebody that just has a name in the industry and everybody knows. You need to be able to tell them, you're gonna give me X amount of product, but I'm gonna sell more than you give me. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to be the guy that you can count on to show up at shows and help you set up and help you tear down. I'm gonna be the guy that is going to be making the posts on my socials. You know, Whenever I approach a company, I, hey, I've got 5,000 followers on my personal Facebook. I've got, I don't even know, I right off, off the top of my head, but my business page does pretty well. I have 10,000 subscribers on, on social media, on YouTube. Um, I have half a million views, you know, so give them a reason to understand that you are gonna give back more than they give you, because that's the only way it makes sense, right? Um, you know, it, it, then if a way to make it trackable is great. You know, I, I hear from Anglers Anonymous quite often, and thank you guys for this. Y'all go in there and y'all say, hey, I saw such and such on, K on Captain Caleb TV, and we want to, you know, look at it, possibly purchase it. These are things that help you grow as sponsors because let's say that I went and applied, you know, at a uh, Rapala, right? And then Rapala calls Anglers Anonymous and says, hey, this Caleb guy's doing with you. What do you think of him? Well, you want Anglers Anonymous to have a, a foothold to say, Caleb's been really good for us and we recommend him versus. You know, yeah, we give him some stuff, you know, sometimes he sells something, blah, blah, blah. So give more than you take. Be there to help those companies. Just little stuff like 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 stopping in the shop and, and you know, just talking product with them or going and helping them set up and tear down at shows. That's that's a big deal. That's It's a big deal. The, the industry has moved more away from uh, somebody that wins a bunch of tournaments or somebody that's a full-time guide. Now they're starting to see the value in, you know, face-to-face -face stuff like being at shows or, you know, 
being a good a good influence on social media. By the way, side note, if you tag at such and such, if you tag at Lost Sparrow, that tags my page. If you've typed hashtag Lost Sparrow, that makes it searchable for people. So you're not tagging Lost Sparrow the hashtag, but if somebody goes in and searches the Lost Sparrow, it'll come up. So know the differences in those while you're doing that as well. All right, number four, be realistic about what you're worth. I mean, the, of the utmost importance. If you're somebody that's kind of new to it, um, understand that you're probably going to be working with a couple of the smaller companies and there's nothing wrong with it, that's fine. Work with those smaller companies that are willing to work with you. I mean, even if it's only 20% off, at the end of the day, you're building your resume, you're building your reputation, you are you are setting the, the groundwork. You know, you're, you're probably not gonna go straight to pure fishing or you know, uh, Rapala or somebody and just get on like that. It's probably not gonna happen unless you've just really lucked out and, and done some some cool stuff. Know what you're worth. If you start off at 20%, you know, embrace it, give it your full effort, and you can often see these things climb and climb and climb until you're where you're at. Whenever I got with Laguna probably 10 years ago or more, I had to pay retail for my first couple of rods. You know, I was, I, I didn't have much of a name in the industry. I was a guy that fished a lot, but I, I, I bought my rods and then I kept building a relationship with Laguna, just piece by piece by piece by piece. I, I would stop by the shop and visit with Chris and give him feedback and, and, and then, you know, next thing I know, hey, we could use some help with our social media. And so next thing I know, I'm the one making the post for the social media and, and so forth and so on. So I started, I started with nothing and then built it up to a full deal, but I was willing to put in the work for nothing to get my full deal. Don't. Don't feel like, oh, I'm a full-time guide or I fish a lot on the weekends or I make a lot of Facebook posts or I have a YouTube channel so I'm just entitled to things because you're not. There are a bunch of people out there just like you. I'm not entitled to just whatever I want. Everything I have, I'm willing to work for. I, I, I paid a lot of money for Costas for a very long time, um, but I stuck with them and, and, and grinded it out and you know, eventually worked out for me. Uh, be willing to put in that work. You're, you're not entitled to anything, but you are capable of getting everything, if that makes any sense. And last but not least is your reputation. That this is the one thing that I see people overlook like you wouldn't believe. And being a guy that's had to run a bunch of names for Laguna and for Anglers Anonymous and whatnot, I see this. It, it, Reputation, all right, and okay, I get it. You're, you're thinking, well, I don't cheat in tournaments. Um, I don't yell at people in the harbor, I'm good. Whenever you apply for a pro staff or you know brand ambassador or whatever it is, the first thing that's gonna happen is these people are going to your social media. If that's right where they're going. If you are the type of person that is constantly throwing up posts that are very political, that are you know, calling people out. If you're the guy that's arguing with people all the time in the comments of stuff, that is not good for you in any way. Guys, if you think that I don't have super strong political beliefs, if you think that I don't have strong religious beliefs, if you don't think I would like to say so much more about how I would like to see our fishery treated, uh, you, you guys are crazy. But I am very careful to not alienate certain demographics, okay? Um, if, if there's somebody that, 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 that sees things completely opposite of me, um, of course I would like to chime in and weigh in. But at the end of the day, then that is alienate demographics both for myself and for companies. If companies see you doing this, they probably aren't going to want you representing their product. It's plain and simple. You know, smaller companies may not care, um, but your, your bigger companies, they don't want that. They, 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 they just don't, it's, it's, it's not gonna be good for you. So that's what I mean by reputation. Think about everything that you put on the internet because everything you put on the internet is easily tracked straight back to you. Very, very extremely macho, gusto, mucho, more important than anything I've said all day, that, that, that reputation. You have to decide, do you want to be the guy that's sponsorable or do you wanna be the guy that argues with everybody on social media. And we all know what good it does to argue on social media. Anyway, uh, take care of you, take care of your family, you know, let the rest sort itself out. So that's the top five things that I know about getting sponsored and, you know, just 
be in the be moving to where you want to be. If you don't want to be sponsored, that's cool. I got a lot of friends that are very good fishermen that could be sponsored by anybody they want, and they don't want to have to deal with the headache of making the post and and doing all that stuff. But if you do, hey, hope this helps you out, and we will catch you on the next one.